for mit eget vedkommende det her. Vi vil godt være med at have selv mærke i, i det her liv og sige, at vi har været med her og som pioner at starte det her op, den her grønne bølge. Det er helt klart. Det er nok det største, at det trækker mig selv. On January 2010, Bent Jensen's Green Initiative evolved into an idea of building a photovoltaic park at Linac AS headquarters. This way, we could act out the Green Initiative and while increasing our solar tracking knowledge through learning by doing. On a former cornfield of wheat, the foundation for the solar park was completed in mid-September 2010. During September and October, 28 trackers were installed and solar panels were mounted. From December 2010 until February 2011, inverters and panel movements were adjusted in order to optimize the yield of the solar park. So, why did Linac even bother selecting trackers for their solar park? Well, one of the reasons is, of course, that Linac are involved in the solar tracking business mains of our products. Another reason was, well, we couldn't really find any reasons why not. I mean, we have already done the investment, we have uh, in invested millions in panels. Why shouldn't we just turn these panels towards the sun? If we move them towards the sun, we can actually get 30 to 40 percent extra output from the panels. The purpose of this park is not just to produce green energy. Yes, that's one of the reasons. Another reason is also that we want to show our products in operation. We want to show ourselves, our engineers, our customer, this is what we do and this is what we're good at. In this park, we have uh, installed three different kinds of trackers. All single axis, all using Modbus technology, um, but displaying two different kinds of Linux products. Design of trackers and engineering of trackers is not the scope of Linux. What we want to do is provide flexible solutions for our customer. This is what we call uh, LA35. It's one of our solar actuators. This is a Modbus uh, slave. Uh, the master is located in the central uh, inverter house, which I will show you in a second. Um, all the data from one actuator to another actuator in this park goes through one data line. So that's why we have this T-splitter on each of the actuator, so we can daisy chain the communication. The second actuator that is installed in our park here is uh, the LA36. This is uh, one of our strongest actuators. It can lift up to uh, one ton. Today we have more than 10,000 actuators installed in the fields around the world. Here behind me, in the corner of the solar park, we have the inverter house. The inverter house, of course, holds all the inverters, the, the measurement equipment and the controls for the Modbus actuators. Uh, each inverter has three uh, strings and we have uh, one tracker on each string. That means that on one inverter we have three trackers. So basically this is the heart of the control of the solar park. Uh, these two controllers that we see here uh, controls the 28 Modbus uh, actuators that we have installed in our solar park. This is our control center. From the control center we have access to all the data coming from the solar park. In the corner here we see the position of each of the actuator. Each actuator has an address from 1 to 28. Here the information from the weather station is located, wind direction, wind speed and so on. These numbers here is telling us what is the electricity production per day, yesterday, this month, this year and so on and so on. And then here you see each block of these are information coming from the actuator. actuator number 4, actuator number 20, 22 and so on and so on. So you, you can see the exactly position, uh, the current and the temperature and so on on each of the actuators. A solar park will last for the next 20 to 25 years and it is essential to choose reliable tracking actuators that will do just the same. Linac Actuator Solutions with embedded Modbus communication furthermore secures longer lifetime by means of electrical and mechanical protection of components, lower investments due to less cabling and no need for additional communication boxes, lower maintenance costs with integrated diagnostics to do preventative maintenance, also with remote monitoring www.solar-tracking.com